Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back on the 9th, 10th of January earlier this year, Microsoft released the now infamous update, KB503441. That was an update to address a security vulnerability that could allow attackers to bypass BitLocker encryption by using Windows Recovery Environment. Now, I'm just doing a quick recap for the purpose of today's video. Now, some computers, as I mentioned uh, in that video, and by the way, I'll create a playlist regarding this update and I'll leave it in the end screen of this video because there's quite a lot going on. So if you want to play catch up, it'll be in the actual order that I've posted the videos if you'd like some more info. So what happens is that some computers might not have a recovery partition that is large enough to complete this update, 503441. And because of this, uh, the update for the Windows recovery environment might fail. And um, you, you could also receive the following message, uh, Windows recovery environment servicing failed, and with the error code 0x8007064 error install fail. Now go check that playlist out if you want more info. And the last I posted regarding this was um, that Microsoft was working on a fix. And I also posted a video uh, maybe a week or two ago that a month later, Microsoft still hadn't rolled out a fix. Now, just to let you know that there's been a little bit of an update, no pun intended, uh, regarding this issue with KB503441. And if we just head over to a quick um, support page by Microsoft, that they now have now said that, note, if your running PC does not have a WinRE, that's a Windows recovery environment, recovery partition, you do not need this update. So basically what they're saying here, if you don't have a recovery partition, obviously this update does not apply to you. So for whatever reason, if you are getting this update and you are seeing the error message and you don't have a recovery partition, then in that playlist, you'll find a video that I'll leave in the end screen of this video. You will find a video in that playlist where I'll show you how you can actually hard KB503441. So you can actually hide this update if it keeps showing itself, especially if you are starting to get a little bit, you know, frustrated because you don't have a recovery partition and the update is still trying to download and install. Now, on a side note, if you want to find out if you have a recovery partition on Windows 10, it's actually quite simple to do. And what you need to do is head to your search and just type in create and format hard disk and Click on the relevant entry, and this takes you over to your disk management page and legacy menu. And yeah, you will see this will take, by the way, a second or two to open, um, depending on your hardware and so on. And yeah, you will see where you have all your different disk partitions. Now, here is my recovery partition, which is 900 megabytes in size. And I didn't have a problem installing this update as I have posted previously. Some recovery partitions may be found right here at the back. Mine is found here to the front because I'm also dual booting this PC so it can mix and match things up a little bit. So if you don't see a recovery partition either here saying a recovery partition or here at the back then you don't need this update. So if it's trying to install itself um, like Microsoft says if your running PC does not have a WinRE recovery partition, you, don't, you, not, you do not need this update, then you can safely hide the update and ignore the update. And if you just, if, if you don't mind the update failing and showing a failure message, then you can just ignore that update or you can hide it as mentioned. But I just wanted to keep you posted because I said I would um, keep you updated um, if any more info has come to light. And that's the latest. So um, go check that playlist out and still... A little bit interesting that Microsoft hasn't actually rolled out an official fix for this update, just rolling it out as a bug fix. But if I get any info or that does become available, obviously I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.